As thousands try to get out of Afghanistan, an Afghan refugee is back safe in Chicago after being rescued by a U.S. military plane in Kabul. He spoke exclusively with our Asal Razai about how he was able to escape with his family. Fereidun Hotak is an Afghan refugee. He worked as a translator for the U.S. Army in Afghanistan before coming to the U.S. in 2007 with a special immigrant visa. He went back to Afghanistan with his wife and four kids in May for a three-month trip to visit family. He never imagined they would end up running for their lives. When I came outside, I saw a couple of Taliban that people were very worried, very scared, and most of the people, they were rushing over to the airport. That was last Friday. Fedeidun says they had heard talks of the Taliban taking over the capital in maybe 90 days, but never expected the takeover to happen so quickly. Before he knew it, he was at the Kabul airport trying to find a way to get them back to the U.S. Thousands and thousands of people getting all together, rushing over to the door, asking the Americans to get them out of the country. Now a U.S. citizen, Fereidun grabbed his wife and children. He tells me he begged a U.S. Marine to get them on one of those planes. It was full, you know, everyone was sitting like this. They made it on one of those planes. It flew them from Kabul to Qatar overnight. The next day they were flown to Kuwait where they were put on a commercial flight to Washington, D.C. Fadejun says every minute of that two night journey was worth it to make it back here to his home in Chicago. While they made it home with nothing but the clothes on their back, Fadejun says he's still concerned about his family that got left behind. One of his brothers, a translator for the U.S. military, has slept near the Kabul airport for days, hoping to get on a plane to the U.S. He actually worked, he served shoulder to shoulder with the United States Army. He went to the patrols, to the areas, but still he is actually being left behind and uh, hopefully they get him, they get my family. A harrowing journey that many are hoping to make for a chance at freedom. Asal Razai, CBS2 News. Fedadun has filed all of the necessary paperwork for his family still in Afghanistan to come to the United States. He is waiting to hear back from government officials.